Hello everybody and welcome to my bedroom. First off, I have to apologise for the fact that the lighting in here sucks because the only light I have currently is this. You can't see the walls in the way. There's this naked bulb that hangs above me and so that's it. That's all I have in here at the moment. But that's not what we're here for. We are in my bedroom because I have an awesome, super easy and cheap um, decoration DIY video thing for you today and it's gonna make this backdrop that you can see which is behind my bed so much more exciting and pretty and nice than it already is so if you are someone who frequents Pinterest and possibly Tumblr, Tumblr, then you would have seen this idea several times. It's been around for a little while now. And I'm going to show you how to do it in my way super easily. So, yes, everything, the entirety of the three things that I bought for this video was less than £20. So, it's really cheap and easy, but it will totally look really awesome. So, let's let's start with this DIY and also welcome to my first decorating DIY video um, which is kind of awesome I'm really excited about it but yes I really want to do this because I'm excited about that as well so let's start let's get going these are the things you are going to need the first thing you're gonna need is a curtain rod of some description. My one is a tension rod so it doesn't need any nails or anything to go into the wall but you can totally use one that just you have nails and or screws and they screw back into the wall. The next thing you're going to need is some um, mesh kind of sheer curtains. I've got these white ones that looks like a pile of a wedding dress on the ground my camera does not like focusing on them and I have got the it is a set of two curtains but you could totally do it in any color you want you could have a bold colored curtain or anything but as long as it's kind of opaque in some way or um, slightly see-through then they are perfect and the last thing you're going to need are some fairy lights so I've just got these ones, they are white fairy lights as you can see, but you could use coloured ones if you want. My suggestion would be to make sure that they're not ones that flicker because this is something that's going above your bed so you want it to be relaxing and calming, not flickery and disco like, it's going to keep you kind of full of energy before you go to sleep. But I have just got these simple white ones which I think are kind of so if you are using a curtain rail where you have to screw the curtains into the wall, curtain rail, the bracket parts into the wall, that is the first thing you want to do. Measure out how much you want it, how like the length of it, and make sure it's the same width as your bed is, if not a little bit longer on either side, but symmetrical because we all like symmetrical things and then get them as straight as you possibly can and put them up and then you want to do the next step. The first thing I'm going to do with my curtains is I'm going to remove these tags because as you can see, you can see them through the tags and that just doesn't look cool. So. curtains onto your railing making sure that the right sides are both facing the same way now that you have your curtains on the road the next thing you want to do is I forgot to bring them over put your fairy lights whoa my phone camera cannot deal with the brightness of these lights but you want to put the fairy lights on them. Make sure you keep in mind 
the, you can't see it, but the cord that you need to plug it into the wall, if yours is one that plugs into the wall. Mine is absolutely, positively, insanely long, so I'm not too worried about not having enough, because I already know that it's over enough um, <laughs> to have it plugged in to my socket. What I'm going to do is attach my lights to my posts, and you kind of want to have them like spread evenly out throughout the curtain. So why I'm doing this now is because I'm going to actually kind of hand sew slightly, like tack on the lights to the curtains because I can't thread them around the pole because there are no gaps between the tops of the curtains. But if yours has gaps at the top, then you could totally just wrap it around the pole and let them kind of drip down. But I'm just going to go ahead and try and get these all on. So what I'm going to do is kind of figure out what is my placement of these. So I'm going to have one over in that corner, which is the end. And then this end is the hair. And I want to try and make it as evenly, as even as I possibly can. Um, so there's maximum of light. Let's start sewing. So my recommendation for sewing them would be to get your lights and um, kind of separate it so you have two or three cords in your roll of lights and you'll probably find that you can do a bit of a figure eight stitch between them and that'll be enough to hold them in place. Try and stitch it up around where the seam is because there's a bit more fabric up there so it shouldn't rip as much and if it does nobody will see it. Once you have attached your lights, if you are sewing them on or tacking them on, then it is time to put it up. Alright, so now you want to put your curtains up on the wall and you want your fairy lights to be behind the curtains and against the wall. So let's begin and uh, I'm standing on my bed. This would be so much easier. If you have a ladder, trust me, watch me struggle. just need to arrange your curtains so it looks the way that you desired. So I will be back very soon so you can have a look at what the final thing looks like because you can't really see in this nice white light that is behind me. Ooh. Board with pretty fairy lights in it and I think it looks pretty awesome if I do say so myself um, so yes I hope you guys liked this video this little DIY it's my first one um, it's pretty fun for me to make to do and fun for me to film and I've always wanted something like this above my bed. Ask my parents, they will agree. And doesn't it look really cool? I hope you guys try this out. And if you do, please make sure to send me your photos. Um, I'm sure we'll all do it in a very different way and it will look totally awesome. So make sure you send them to me. 
So I'm hoping to do some more DIY videos for you guys. If you have any ideas or suggestions on anything, whether it's something from decorating to just any type of DIY, then let me know in the description. In the description, in the comments. I always want to say description instead of comments. I don't know why. It's really annoying. I will see what I can do to do that. I'm sure there'll be some more uh, decorating ones coming along anyway. Um, well, actually, I'm planning some to do eventually when I can. But yeah, any ideas are totally welcome, and I will do my best to give them a go. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, it lets me know that you enjoyed it and that you'd like to see some more like it. And make sure you leave all your comments in the comment section down below. All links to social media are also in the description in the description section. So make sure you go and check them out. You can like and follow and be nice. Become my friend in other places as well. Subscribe because there will be more videos coming out very soon and they could be exciting and I'm slowly planning more and more videos. But if you have any ideas for video suggestions then please also make sure you let me know those because that would be amazingly helpful. So I don't know about you guys but I'm going to lie in my bed and my the fairy lights above my head now. So yes. That's all, that's it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, remember to explore all you see, laugh out loud, and live your dreams. Okay. Bye! Woo. There will be different ways. Blah, 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 blah. There will definitely be some more. If you like this video, <laughs> make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really lets me the. the